Hello everyone, my name is Rachita Mathur, currently working as a legal intern at Lexan Company. So today I'm going to present on a topic is right to prisoners is violated during COVID-19. So due to lack of proper medical care in detention facility to serve overcrowding and being abruptly cut off of the world, the imprisoned person has suffered the worst form of uh, human rights violation in the outgoing pandemic. According to the recent international report, forgotten behind the bars, COVID-19 prisoners it had been noted that the government has to take certain measures to prevent the spread of infection. However, these measures are often inadequate. In some cases, it, can, it even leads to the violation of human rights. On the basis of past year's report, it states that the prisoner's right have been violated in India. According to the finding, it further states that the pandemic has failed the imprisoned persons on several levels, including the state responsibility for providing adequate technical support for communication outside world in order to avoid situation which leads to imprisoned and risk. Last year, that is on 24th March, Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi had abruptly announced a complete nationwide knockdown. The prison department across the country respond to the order by bearing all the personal physical meeting inside the prison. Lawyers and family members were denied jail visits without making any alternative arrangements. The study further points out that despite Supreme Court order to ad adopt video conferencing technique to overcome the lack of physical meeting, many states have failed to make the necessary arrangements. Since there was a problem with introduction of video conferencing in court due to this technology, the detainees faces problem while communicating with family members uh, due to slow lockdown. The condition of prisoners at Karnataka and Haryana were, uh, were very, uh, like very problematic where video conferences become operational as only as late as December 2020 and Feb 2021 respectively. Though some technical arrangements were being made available which proved to be inadequate and the duration of video conferencing was limited to 5 to 10 minutes only. While Jammu and Kashmir prisoners were allowed a phone call only once in 15 days. According to pandemic, several prisoners died due to this infection. Uh, the human rights organizations moved several times to High Court and Supreme Court. The protest and unrest have been broken out at prisoner in context of COVID-19. The reports conclude that they have been often attributed for the introduction of restrictive measures like suspension of prison visit, poor health and living conditions. Many countries, including India, according to United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes, reports that a violence which directly relates to pandemic. It has been seen that the violent prisoner protest which results in death or injury of prisoners or prison staff or prisoner escape. In India, particularly in West Bengal, the violence has been broken out in prison following the sudden lockdown as a result of which four prisoners were killed and several others were severely injured in the violence. Many prisoners has gone on strike demanding for better facilities. According to various committees report, it, uh, it has been described that prisoners as an epicenter for the spread of coronavirus. In fact, in many countries, prisoners were denied even the most basic protective gears and sanitary items. Protective equipment should be provided that is of free of charge and government need to increase the access of COVID-19 testing and treatment to prevent and manage potential outbreak. Since vaccine has been introduced, so prisoner staff and other officials should be included on the priority list. Further, a human rights organization asked for regular update on data related to infection.
infection treatment vaccination also in prison should be no less free available to public health and response statistics for any other population further it plead that no discrimination should be done against the prisoners and hence make vaccine available for them too according to world health organization and united nation agencies have set up efforts ensuring prisoners right as not being violated thank you